Bhagavati Nishtiki. We are reading Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 1, Chapter 15, Text Number 20. Srimad Bhagavatam, Prathamastam, Pandrava Adhai, Slok Sankhya Vis.
भगवान से विलग हो गया हो अतएव मेरा हृदय संजय सा प्रतीत हो रहा है उनकी अनुपस्थिति में जब मैं कृष्ण की तमाम पत्नियों की रखवाली कर रहा था तो उनके अविश्वस्य गोपियों ने मुझे हरा दिया The important point in this verse is how it was possible that Arjuna could be defeated by a gang of ignoble cowherd men, and how such mundane cowherd men could touch could touch the bodies of the wives of Lord Krishna, who were under the protection of Arjuna. Srila Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur has justified the contradiction by research in the Vishnu Purana and Brahma Purana. In these Puranas, it is said that, that once the fair denizens of heaven pleased Astavakra Muni by their service and were blessed by the Muni, to have the Supreme Lord as their husband. Astavakra Muni was curved in eight joints in his body, and thus he used to move in a peculiar curved manner. The daughters of the demigods could not check their laughter upon seeing the movements of the Muni, and the Muni, being angry at them, cursed them that they would be kidnapped by rogues, even if they would get the Lord as their husband. Later on, the girls again satisfied the Muni by their prayers, and the Muni blessed them that they would regain their husband, even after being robbed by the rogues. So in order to keep the words of the great Muni, the Lord himself kidnapped his wives from the protection of Arjuna. Otherwise, they would have at once vanished from the scene as soon as they were touched by the rogues. Besides that, some of the gopis who prayed to become wives of the Lord returned to their respective positions after their desire was fulfilled. After the departure of Lord Krishna, he wanted all his entourage back to Godhead, and they were called back under different conditions only. <laughs> अपहरण अर्जुन की 
सुरक्षा में रहते हुए भी कर लिया अन्यथा उन दृष्टों के स्पर्श करते ही सारी की सारी पत्तियां अदृश्य हो गई और इसके अतिरिक्त जिन गोपियों ने कृष्ण को पत्नी बनने के लिए प्रार्थना की थी वे भी अपने अपने इच्छा पूरी होने पर अपने अपने स्थानों पर लौट आए कृष्ण के प्रस्थान के बाद उन्होंने चाहा कि उनके सारे संगी भगवत धाम वापस आ जाए और वे सभी विभिन्न दशाओं में वापस बुला लिए गए But he did it in such a way that 
that he could protect the chastity and the purity of his eternal associates. So, Bhagavan, in this way, he was doing this work. So, he was doing this work in his dream, which is the work of the Sathya, and the work of the Sathya, and the work of the Sathya. All of these wives of Lord Krishna, who were being protected by Arjuna, they were all very great devotees, and they were going to go back to Godhead to be with Lord Krishna. यहाँ पर जितने भी भगवान के स्त्रियों के रूप में गोपियाँ बनी हुई थी, यह सब पुरुष जन्म के जितिया हैं, और इनको अपने लीला संबरण करके भगवान के धाम में वापस जाना था। when Lord Krishna comes to this world, he does not come alone, but he comes with his different associates. जब भगवान कृष्ण इस धराधाम में आते हैं, वो कभी भी एक एक नहीं आते, वो अपने संगी और पार्षदों के साथ आते हैं। Some of them come before Lord Krishna, just like Lord Balaram came before Lord Krishna. कुछ तो ऐसे थे जो भगवान के पूर्व इस धराधाम में आए थे, उनमें से एक हैं बलराम के स्वरूप। Lord Balaram has made all the arrangements for Lord Krishna to appear within the womb of Devaki. So, Bhagavan Balaram Ji was here, he was doing this before, so that in the way of the Mata Devaki, Bhagavan Krishna will be born in the world. And of course, Krishna's mother and father, they have to come in the world before Lord Krishna appears. We can also say that in Bhagavan Mata Krishna's form, इस धाधा में वो भगवान से पूर्व आए थे। तो many different associates of Lord Krishna also come along with him. Some come from the spiritual world. भगवान के यहाँ पर पार्षद बनकर आने वाले भक्तों के बीच में बहुत सारे ऐसे थे जो पूर्व में भगवान के धाम से आए थे। And some come from our demigods. They come. The demigods also come. They had all gone to Lord Brahma. First of all, Mother Bhumi had gone to Lord Brahma to complain about the burden of so many demonic kshatriyas on the planet. यहाँ धरती माता ब्रह्मदेव के पास जाकर बताते हैं कि मेरे बोझ के ऊपर बहुत सारे राक्षसों का बोझ बन चुका है। and at that time, Lord Brahma had meditated to Lord Vishnu at Swetadvi, and the Lord at Swetadvi had said that he was going to come soon, and that they should all take birth in the Yadu dynasty. So, यहाँ पर स्वेतद्वीप में भगवान के पास ब्रह्मदेव को जाकर जब प्रार्थना करते हैं, तो भगवान उनको वरदान देते हैं कि हम जो हैं यदु वंश में सब लोग अवतरित होंगे ये भूमि के भार को उधार करने के लिए so in this way, Lord Krishna was able to enjoy an association with his eternal devotees. So in this way, Bhagavan Krishna is the one who is the one who is the one who is the one who is the one. But Lord Krishna's pastimes in this world are for just for a hundred or so years. And after that, then he, he departs from the world. He leaves this planet. भगवान कृष्ण का इस धराधाम में लीला जो है ज्यादा समय का नहीं था सिर्फ सौ वर्षों के और भगवान इस लीला को करने के बाद इस धराधाम को छोड़कर अपना लीला संबरण किए एंड लॉर्ड कृष्ण हैज टू मेक अरेंजमेंट्स फॉर दिस डिफरेंट डिवोटीज हाउ हाउ दे गोइंग टू गो बैक तो भगवान कृष्ण जाने से पूर्व अपने भक्तों का यह व्यवस्था भी कर गए थे कि मेरे पश्चात मेरे भक्त किस तरीके से इस धराधाम को छोड़ जाएंगे Lord Krishna considered that if he was to leave first, then the, the members of the Yadu dynasty would not be able to bear. It would be untop the pain would be so great. They would not be able to survive. So Bhagavan Krishna यहाँ पर देख रहे थे कि उनके इस धाम को छोड़के अगर प्रथम से जाना होता है, तो उनके जो पासत वर्ग हैं, वो इस दर्द को सहन नहीं कर पाएंगे और बाद में उनको अत्यधिक दर्द होगा तो भगवान उसी तरीके से व्यवस्था रख रहे हैं। Lord Krishna doesn't like to see his devotees put through so much suffering। तो भगवान कृष्ण यहाँ कभी नहीं चाहते थे कि उनके जो भक्त हैं वो किसी प्रकार के कष्ट के अंदर से व्यस्त रहें। 
So Lord Krishna arranged that the Yadu dynasty would all depart first. And they would depart by fighting with each other. So Bhagavan is telling us that the Yadu because the members of the Yadu dynasty were so powerful, nobody else could defeat them. So they had to fight with each other and kill each other. So Yadu was and in this way, uh, they all went to Prabhakshitra and they took some, they, they drank some alcohol or some wine, they became intoxicated and they fought with each other. So in this way, all the members of the Yadu dynasty could return either to the spiritual world or to the heavenly world. And with the departure of the Yadu dynasty, then Lord Krishna could depart himself. And Lord Krishna, of course, arranged a very special trick in how he departed from the world. So, Bhagavad Krishna, he has a wonderful way to do this. He has a wonderful way to do this. Foolish people, they think that Krishna died because he got shot in the foot by an arrow. तो जो मूर्ख व्यक्ति हैं वो यह सोचते हैं कि भगवान इस तरीके से मृत्यु वरण किए जब एक भिन्न ने उनको तीन से जीता तो कृष्ण अरेंज दिस पास टाइम एस एन एन एक्सक्यूज फॉर हिम टू डिसअपीयर फ्रॉम द वर्ल्ड तो भगवान कृष्ण अपने लीला समर्थन को इस तरीके से व्यवस्था किए कि वो दूसरों के लिए एक आदर्श and he left a body. He had another material body which was like a, a replica of his own form. And that was there. And people thought, oh, this is Krishna's dead body. So Bhagavan, when he goes to the temple and goes to the temple, he goes to the temple and goes to the temple. So people think that when he goes to the temple, he goes to the temple and goes to the temple and goes to the temple. And they even think that they have the ashes of Lord Krishna's body there. There's a place they say this is where they cremated the body of Lord Krishna. So Krishna did this whole trick just to fool the atheistic people who think Krishna has a material body which takes birth and has to die. तो भगवान ने इस प्रकार से लीला किए थे जो आस्तिकवादी व्यक्तित्व थे और उन्होंने यह सोचने लगे कि ये भगवान का स्वरूप था इसको जलाया गया और ये भगवान के शरीर का राख है एंड कृष्णा एज ए एक्सपर्ट मैजिशियन ही कैन अरेंज फॉर अ रेप्लिका ऑफ हिज ओन फॉर्म टू बी देयर एंड ही हिमसेल्फ विल डिसअपीयर फ्रॉम द विजन ऑफ द वर्ल्ड भगवान इतने सुंदर जादूगर थे कि वो अपने शरीर को स्वयं के शरीर को जलाने का यह नाटक रचे और वहाँ से अंतर्ध्यान हो गए और ये किसी को समझ भी नहीं आया। और कृष्णा अरेंजेस फॉर डिफरेंट डिवोटीज इन डिफरेंट वेज टू डिपार्ट फ्रॉम द वर्ल्ड। भगवान कृष्ण इस तरीके से व्यवस्था किए थे अलग-अलग प्रकार से अलग-अलग प्रकार के भक्तों के लिए इस धर्मधाम को छोड़ के जाने की व्यवस्था। So it's pointed out from the com from the research done by Shula Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur that actually these coward men could never touch the bodies of Lord Krishna's wives. So यहाँ पर इस तरीके से वर्णन किया गया है जो विश्वनाथ चक्रवर्ति ठाकुर है वो अपने सोच से यह प्रतीत करते हैं कि देखा जाए तो भगवान के जो ये पार्षद थे वो बिया इनके शरीर को किसी ने भी स्वर्ग नहीं किया। No ordinary people could ever touch the body of the 
वाइफ्स ऑफ द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड तो कोई भी साधारण व्यक्ति परम भगवान परम पुरुष के पत्नियों के शरीर को स्पर्श नहीं कर सकता वे सी सिमिलर इंसिडेंट डिस्क्राइब्ड इन द रामायण वेयर दे टॉक अबाउट द किडनैपिंग ऑफ मदर सीता बाय रावण तो यहां पर एक तुलनात्मक रूप से और एक कथा को हम ले सकते हैं रामायण में माता सीता का हरण होना मदर सीता इज द the internal potency of the lord mata sita jo hai bhagwan ki antarna shakti hai she is pure spiritual energy of the, of the supreme lord wo bhagwan ke param antaranga aur adhyatmik shakti hai no ordinary person and certainly no demon like ravan can ever touch the body of mother sita ye साधारण तरीके से कोई भी साधारण व्यक्ति माता सीता का शरीर को स्पर्श नहीं कर सकता था यहाँ तक कि रावण भी सो हाउ डज इट हैपन द रावण खाते हैं किडनैप सीता तो ये किस तरीके से किडनैप माया सीता नॉट द एक्चुअल सीता ये किस तरीके से संभव हो पाया कि माता सीता का हरण जो है रावण ने किया देखा जाए तो रावण ने
they did nice service and they pleased him and again he did blessings. So we have to understand these different pastimes of Lord Krishna because without hearing the explanations of the Acharyas, then certainly it will be very bewildering. We can understand many points from this pastime. First of all, we should deal very carefully with great munis like Astapakha Muni. You can please him, it's a great blessing for you, you're very fortunate. But if we don't please them, if we make them angry, it can be havoc on our spiritual. जब आप किसी मुनि को क्रोधित कर देते हैं, ये आपके लिए भक्ति के मार्ग पर अनिकारक साधित होता है। We have to always be very careful and not offend the devotees, but rather always try to please them. हमें बहुत सामान्य रूपों पर भक्तों के साथ व्यवहार के रूप में करना चाहिए। भक्तों को कभी हमें रुष्ट नहीं करना चाहिए। And we are also seeing the example of how Arjuna how much he was dependent on empowerment from Lord Krishna. We hear uh, the, the famous verse in the scriptures is said, by the mercy of the spiritual master, a lame man can cross mountains. A blind man can see the stars in the sky. And a dumb man can recite poetry. All of these things are possible by the blessings of the spiritual teaching. But without that blessings, then we're nothing. We have nothing to do nothing. The Lord Krishna teaches in the Bhagavad Gita, he's teaching Arjuna to remember that he's simply an instrument in the service of Krishna. Bhagavad Gita ke gyan ke madhan se Bhagavan iha batate hai ki Arjun jo hai is Gita ke andar ek madhyam hai. Which say nimita matram baba sabja sachin. So yaha pare Varu Krishna was telling Arjuna just become an instrument in my service. So yaha pare ek shlok hai nimita matram baba sabja sachin. Arjuna is not a Sadhisachin that he is very expert in firing arrows. But still Krishna is telling him, just be the instrument, you are not the doer. You're the instrument in the service of Krishna. In Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna says that the bewildered spirit soul under the influence of material energy takes himself to be the doer of it. भगवान गीता के ज्ञान में यह परिदर्शित किया गया है एक साधारण धमित व्यक्ति हर समय कर्ता 
समझकर आप लोगों को समझ बैठता है अहंकारा विमुदात्मा खाता हम इति मन्यते बिकॉज ऑफ द अहंकार द फॉल्स ईगो वी आर थिंकिंग आई एम द खाता आई एम द डूअर आई एम डूइंग इट भगवत गीता के श्लोक को उदित करते हुए कहा गया है अहंकार का निमुदात्मा करता रहो इति मन्यते इसका अर्थ है कि जो अहंकारी व्यक्ति है वो अपने आप को करता मान बैठता है Everything is being done by the material nature, the modes of nature. इस संसार में जितने भी कार्य होते हैं, इस जगत के तीन प्रकार के ये कार्य जो है, बहुत ही बदतर के कारण होता है. Sometimes you can do wonderful things, you get wonderful results, you make a lot of money, you make a lot of fame, you make a big name for yourself. It is not that we did anything. It is just some kind of good karma. ये आपके अच्छे कर्म हो सकते हैं कभी कभी आप उन कर्म के आधार पर बहुत से धन कमाते हैं ये कहीं भी शास्त्र में वर्णित नहीं है ये आपका कर्म का फल है बट देन ऑल्सो यू गेट सम बैड कर्म टाइम गुड कर्म गुड कर्म Yeah, I'm ready to rule the world. Yeah, you have to. You have to be. 
part of the 18 day plan to establish Krishna consciousness. Alright, is there any question? Any comment or question? We have to, we don't need to stop because we, we try to keep the schedule. Okay, so then we will finish it. Hare Krishna, Srimad Bhagavad.